There have been a total of 24 different cover athletes in the history of Madden, and we're gonna make a squad of them starting from scratch. Starting out with the first ever cover athlete was Eddie George back in Madden 01, but of course, Eddie George is not in Madden 22, but we're gonna pick up his teammate at left end, Javon Curse. Madden 02, of course, had Dante Culpepper, but again, he is not in Madden 22. So we're gonna grab his number one target in Randy Moss, but not his Great wide receiver game. card, but he's out of position cornerback backyard ballers edition next up was marshall falk in madden 03 and i know it's three times in a row we don't have a player that's in madden 22 but we're gonna pick up a teammate well this was the most difficult teammate to find we got no kurt warner no isaac bruce not even orlando pace we're gonna pick up tory holt but he is not gonna make the starting lineup he's gonna be at the wide receiver four slash wide receiver five the next installment was madden 04 with probably the most famous iteration of a single player in michael vick however since we have so many qbs in this squad we're gonna go pick up his cornerback card ultimate legend for 61,000 coins and then we're also gonna throw in patrick kearney his teammate at back of left end madden over Overall Redux Edition. Madden 05 saw the debut of the famous, and well, you guys still know what it is, the hit stick and the cover athlete being alleged killer Ray Lewis. We're not only going to grab his 97 overall Ultimate Legend, we're going to grab his most famous teammate, my personal best safety of all time and Ed Reed for a staggering price of 1.27 million points. We're back to the cover athletes with no cards in Madden 22. Donovan McNabb was on the cover of Madden 06. And well, we're going to pick up one of his teammates, one of the hardest hitting safeties of all time in Brian Dawkins, his Sugar Rush card. Sean Alexander was the cover athlete in Madden 07. And to get him in the starting lineup, we're going to throw the team diamond at fullback. We're also going to need a left tackle, the first offensive lineman of this video. We're going to be picking up his teammate in Walter Jones. Madden 08 was my personal first ever Madden. It saw Texas Longhorn legend Vince Young on the cover, which by the way, I thought would have made for an amazing golden ticket. But unfortunately, with the overall being 95, he is just going to serve as a backup QB for this lineup. Brett Favre, the only Packer surprisingly to be a cover athlete, but of course, he's not in Madden 22. So we're going to pick up Michigan legend, both sides of the ball, but we're going to pick up his cornerback edition, Charles Woodson. Madden 10 for the first time ever, and it wasn't the last where we saw a dual athlete cover in Larry Fitzgerald and Troy Palomalu, who had also just faced off in the previous Super Bowl. So with that being said, we're going to pick up the 97 overall Super Bowl, Larry Fitzgerald and golden ticket Troy Palomalu, and also a couple of their teammates. First up, we've got Calais Campbell on that 2010 Cardinals team. And then Allen, not going to say his last name, not for being a Steelers teammate of Troy Palomalu, but he also was on that 2010 Arizona Cardinals team. Madden 11 had Drew Brees grace the cover, somehow isn't in Madden 22, so we're going to pick up his teammate in Jonathan Vilma from that whole Bounty Gate situation with Greg Williams, and my personal, I'm going to say favorite and also best college player of all time, although I am a UCLA, I joke Bruin, USC Trojan, former USC Trojan in Reggie Bush. The next year, Peyton Hillis won the first ever cover athlete vote when he did win over former cover athlete Michael Vick, who at the time was a Philadelphia Eagle. Peyton Hillis is also the last cover star to not be a Madden 22, so we have to worry about it again. But we're going to pick up his offensive lineman that we're playing in front of him in Joe Thomas and Alex Mack. Next up, we have one of my personal favorite players of all time, not only in real life, but in Madden 22 being Calvin Johnson. We're going to add not only his wide receiver card, but his free safety card, 98 overall and 95 overall, respectively. Madden 25, not Madden 14. By the way, I don't know what they're going to name Madden 25 two or yet two years down the line but we also saw a current gen cover and a next gen cover the current gen being barry sanders and the next gen being adrian peterson back to back years we're going to add a two-way player we're going to pick up barry sanders running back that 99 overall what was it it was an a car 99 overall and his right outside linebacker backyard ballers and then for adrian peterson we're going to pick up his running back card alongside his teammate kevin williams for defensive tackle. Madden 15 had an outspoken player in Richard Truman be on the cover, so we're going to grab his 95 overall Ghost of Madden pass player, as well as his Legion of Boom teammate in Muttmaster, Kim Chancellor. And we're also going to throw in not the middle linebacker version, but the punter version, special teams do matter, in Bobby Wagner. Next up, we have my second favorite cover athlete of all time, being Odell Beckham Jr. And the only card from this cover that we're going to add to the squad is that 97 overall Team of the Week LTD, or Redux Edition, of obj obj i'm him madden 17 had recently retired well he recently retired but he's probably going to unretire a few more times down the line robert gronkowski former new england patriot now well former patriot former buccaneer we're gonna add his 99 overall tribute ltd to the squad and the very next year we saw his quarterback thomas edward brady be on the cover the goat edition 
Uh, that's what Madden called, and I'm not going to call it that. We're not going to actually add Tom Brady to the squad because he only has a quarterback card, but rather we needed a right guard. That was like the only position we need really needed to fill once I was completing this lineup. Right guard, Teddy Bruschi, out of position, ultimate legend. Madden 19 was Antonio Brown. I think the peak of the Madden curse, I would say, Antonio Brown. So we're going to add his 94 overall harvest card, and we're also going to add his teammate at the time, TJ Watt, I want to say, was in his rookie year, the year that Antonio Brown did get the cover. And now my favorite player in the NFL, my favorite cover of all time, Pat Mahomes, Madden 20, probably the most popular Madden we've seen in the past few years. We're not going to add Patrick Mahomes to the teams again. So many quarterbacks to fill. We're going to add his, well, former teammate, Tyree Kale, the middle linebacker edition, Dolphins, I guess you could say, to the squad at the middle linebacker two. Madden 21 had the previous MVP, Lamar Jackson, grace the cover, and we're finally going to add that starting quarterback to the team in the golden ticket, Lamar Jackson. We're also going to throw him his favorite pass catcher in the Mark Andrews 97 overall. And let's throw in his kicker, 99 overall golden ticket, Justin Tucker. And finally, this year's installment of Madden, Madden 22. So the return of the dual athlete being Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes. And for this, we're going to add Vita Vea, a Buccaneer teammate of Tom Brady, and then Chris Jones, a teammate of Patrick Mahomes at that D tackle, I think two or three. Finally, the Madden 23 cover athlete, cover star, cover coach. John Madden is going to be the head coach of this squad, but that is going to be the complete cover athlete squad and 96 overall. It costs a shade under 9 million coins. And well, it's a pretty damn good team. If you guys want to see a gameplay of this squad, my first ever upload on my backup channel, the link to that video will be in the description below. And if you enjoyed the content today, subscribe if you're new, like if you enjoyed and until next time, peace.